Hi guys. Sorry I have been a little MIA this week. Um, the videos, the last videos that I did, which were about a week ago, um, I filmed all of those in one day and so that was two weeks ago. So you may have heard from me last week, but really I've been out of commission for two weeks <laughs> and I kind of wanted to explain and uh, just let you know what's going on with me and share my world with you. Um, I did mention that we were switching some things around um, in the house and that um, my mother was moving back to New Mexico, which is cross country. We're in Western PA. And um, so we've been rearranging our house and um, switching rooms and creating um, some more conducive areas, I guess you would say, to just make our home more harmonious and fit in some um, furniture that we had given my mother and then, of course, she was giving back to us. Um, so you all know, if you follow me, I'm disabled and I'm disabled um, from predominantly back injuries. So lifting is not something I am allowed to do or should do in any way. And yet I found myself helping my husband, dragging, pushing, and lifting a little bit. And um, so I hurt myself. <laughs> and I was quite busy and busy every single day and, you know, visiting my mother as much as I could and helping my husband as much as I could. And so I was, I was very busy, but I was in a lot of pain. And um, when you're disabled, you know that pain, chronic pain is just our life. It's, it's something that we live with. And so when a doctor asks you if you're, if you're in pain, of course you always say yes, well, how much pain? And you give a certain number. And for us who, who are disabled, that, that threshold, there's, there's always pain. There's always, always pain. It's just a matter of the severity. And, and my husband, <laughs> my husband laughs. Um, I'll use an analogy here. My husband says he's, he's always in the mess. It's just the, the depth of it that varies. <laughs> And, and that's, of course, you know, any married man is going to think like that. So I kind of view that the same way as I do my pain. I'm always in pain. It's just the, the depth of it, the severity of it that varies. So for the last two weeks, I've been in a lot of pain. And as you know, I've given up all my pain medications. I don't fill those prescriptions anymore, and I told my doctor, you know, I don't want that anymore. I don't want to damage my liver base, you know, to take that pain medicine because I knew that it really didn't help a lot. And although they tell you to take it because you're in pain, it wasn't helping. So it didn't matter if I took the medicine or not. I was going to have pain, and, and I recognized that. And I said to myself, okay, I know that if I take it easy and I don't do certain things and if I eat really well and cleaning up my diet had a lot to do with that, I don't have as severe pain as I used to have. So um, a lot of that was salt, giving up salt, and a lot of it was oil. And, um, you know, I've done a lot of videos on that and I've explained all of that to you that the salt was causing the inflammation and the inflammation, inflammation was giving me more pain. Okay, so I was doing things I shouldn't do. I was lifting, I was pulling, I was dragging, I was, you know, more active than I've, I've been in quite a while. And so I was in pain. So what do I do? Okay, so I explained to my doctor what I was doing and it's CBD oil, guys. That's what I choose to use. So I don't take um, Tylenol or Advil or Motrin or aspirin. I don't do any of those because they all can damage your liver. And um, I told her I was using just a mild dose of CBD oil. And 
she asked me if it helped and, and I was quite honest with her. You know, the um, health food store where I purchased it said, oh, one dose will last you 12 hours. One dose lasts me maybe four hours. And it doesn't um, help with severe pain, but it does help with that mild, dull ache. Okay, no, it doesn't make you high, unfortunately. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I'm joking, I'm joking, really. Um, but uh, it helps with that dull ache. And um, I put it on my teenage daughter uh, when she has menstrual cramps, and it really helps her with that. She doesn't like it because I got the one that has a scent, and to me it smells like um, anise, like uh, licorice. And she doesn't like that. She's like me. She's very susceptible to smells. But what I might find is a good smell. She'll find, of course, is a bad smell. But anyway, um, so I put this on her and it helps with her menstrual crap. So that's what I'm referring to is think of that as your baseline. If it's a dull ache, this will help. But you're, you're going to have to use it every four hours. Don't listen to them about the 12 hours. And it's just it's not that good. Now, there are higher dosage that are quite expensive, like $150 for a little jar this size, whereas I paid $50 for this size. But I don't have the real high dosage because at that time it was not legal in my state, the time that I bought that. So um, will I eventually get that higher dose? Maybe, maybe not. Because to be honest with you, if I take it easy, and I eat really clean, I don't have that severe pain. There are times when I do, and you know what? I sit, and I put my feet up, and I turn on a movie. And, and if I have to have a glass of brandy, that's when you know it's real bad, is when I'll have a glass of brandy, and then <laughs> it, it helps. But, but I won't take those... Um, those medicines that you see people, you know, the Tylenol, Advil, Motrin, and even those prescription ones. I just, I won't do it anymore. So anyway, I told my doctor about this and she said, that sounds perfect to me. So she said, we'll just keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a great job. And if you have any pain, use your CBD oil. So my doctor supports my decision. She's read up on this and she knows that, you know, for, for little aches and pains, it will help. And so she's all for that. Check with your doctor and see what their opinion of it is. And I got this at the health food store, but you know what? Just about every state now has this in some form or another. And some, some places it's only the low dose like this is. And some places you can get higher doses, but you're going to pay for it. And you can get them online if you can't find them locally because, you know, I'm in a really small area, but I just happen to have a health food store. And that's where I got it. So just wanted to tell you that that's what's going on in my world right now. And that's why you haven't seen me. And those last videos, if you'll notice, there's like three videos. I'm wearing the same sweatshirt. It's because I filmed them all in one day. And then I just released them slowly to you so that you have... You don't want to have a Tina overload. <laughs> so um, that that's what I did, but I've really been out of commission for about two weeks and I'm just starting to get back on my feet. My mother has finally, you know, moved and we can kind of calm things down a little bit in our house. We've still got a few things we're working on. Um, my husband has finished my dining room um, rearrange and um, he's finished his room rearrange and got it complete and there's just my meditation room I'm calling it my meditation room um, but I will put my computer there and a TV just for watching you know DVDs if I choose to but I want it to be an area where I can read I'm gonna have a really good uh, lamp all my bookshelves are there and my books are there and it's just going to be a really relaxing area that I can meditate or I can read or I can watch a DVD or, you know, even be on the computer when I need to. And that will get it out of the dining room. <laughs> so that room isn't done yet. So my pain isn't done yet because I've still got to do some things there. And, um, of course, my husband helps me as much as he can. But, um, 
just wanted you to know why I haven't been filming for you and I hope you're okay. You know what? I've got lots of videos out and you know, you can go back through and see some of those first ones that maybe you've missed if you've just started joining me. Okay. And have a good day guys. And, and I promise I'll try to do more for you. Okay. Bye-bye.